Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Black Geyser with me, Bring It On. We need to finish recovering from that fight last episode. So we're going to grab Soraka, rest up, get back to the temple and grab our gear. Then we'll head to Darren Gold and see about speaking with Isla. At once. Yes? Yes? Can I help you? I could make sure that my naked companions are at full health. We don't know what sort of trouble we might run into on the road. At once. I did consider doing this part off camera, but it is part of the adventure, you know, facing the repercussions of what well, wasn't a failure, I guess. But the repercussions of the fight from last episode. And it won't take super long either way. And we get to experience this awesome artwork again. I mean, I would have seen it either way, but now yeah, you do too. At once. At once. I await your instructions. I'm listening. Off I go. I'm listening. Yes, yes. Hmm? I'm always go ready. Ahead. Go ahead. What do you need? What did off I go? Oh, that's right. Yes. So remember where Hamlin died. <laughs> Alright, take back what I said. It's going to take a bit longer than I thought. Because I forgot you have to click right, on each item right. individually. And you resurrect them like this. Beer would be nice. Thank you. Here? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Yes. What is your wish? Mm -hmm. Here? What is your wish? Alright, no, would all be right. nice. Thank you. All right, he's all equipped. We'll find a solution. What do you wish of me? Are you certain? We'll find a solution. Let's see. Back to being Where equipped. I go? Last but not least, Helgen Har. I'm listening. As you say. What do you need? You're in charge. Whatever you say. Bye. Go ahead. I'm listening. I go.
Well, had I remembered that I had to pick up each, each individual item like that, I probably would have done that off camera. It's a little bit more time consuming than I was expecting. There? A beer would be nice. Off I go. Hmm? I will lead. But everything's now back in order. We had to Darren Gould and speak to Isla. once. I believe she's going to be waiting for us at the Curious Cat. That's where she was last time. Oh yeah, and two more things before I forget. We found that dagger last episode that I couldn't identify because everyone was dead. I also want to see about removing the curse on that short sword we found. Alright, the illusionist. So plus 10% to illusion manipulation resistance. Grants one elevated spell slot, level 3 and level 5. The Zornite dagger has been imbued with magic to aid wizards with summoning. The weapon affords the user a small defensive enchantment as well, but the main benefit is that summoned creatures will last longer while the caster holds it. So building this dagger grants plus 25% duration to summoning spells, and allows the wizard to destroy any summoned creatures on a successful hit. Yes? I'm always ready. I await your instruction at once. It is tempting to use, but I don't think that we will. Yes. You have to purify that one too. Yeah, she has a fifty-eight percent chance of success. So that I'm listening. Off I go. That makes sense. Alright, let's go talk to Isla and proceed with the main quest. Oh wait! Nope, we're not going to do this. I think we found the last piece. With the body for Gershom. So I think we can turn in this quest instead. And then we'll come back and talk to Isla. At once. Can I help you? Uh, greetings. Any luck finding materials for me? I think I've done it. Take a look at these. This is perfect, my friend. Better even than I'd hoped. I can't wait to begin my project, but I must. You must be paid for your hard work. I crafted this mace for you while you were gone. May it help you as you have helped me. Nice doing business with you, Gershom. All the best to you. Stop by again sometime. He gave me the Skeletal Scepter. So plus 2 to focus, plus 3% to critical chance. 
All right, grant summon skeleton. Uh, skeleton halberdier once per day. And chance to inflict weak to the target 20%. The scepter is made of a skull heavily permeated by unnatural energy and wood taken from a defeated Enerant's trunk. Surprisingly, all these dark properties seem to exist in a completely neutral state within this weapon. Holding it does not convey any temptation to turn to the forces of darkness, as many similar items do. It does, however, give the user some control over the forces of darkness, regardless of the user's true intentions with them. It's not bad. Same amount of pulse and blow damage. We lose 2% status chance. We lose the heat damage, but we gain poison and acid damage. I still think it's worse. I off I go. So I don't think we'll be using it, but I don't want to get rid of it either, especially since it took us so long to get. Yes. I'm like there. All right. Then we could talk to Isla. Let's see what the next step is. Hmm? What was that? Adonal, you returned. Tell me, you speak with the pendulum. How goes your work on the disease? Are you close to a cure? Treatment has been progressing, though slowly, thanks to the seer I developed from Aldnar's remains. I'm confident that given time, I'll banish this affliction completely. You mentioned you wanted to talk to me alone. I did, and you're not alone. And back when we could speak in private. <laughs> in case he's being too subtle, Donald, he wants to see you alone, in private, without your friends watching. Then it was a haft of an axe, and it struck you on the skull. Then would you get it? I think I'll take my leave for now, Isla. Farewell. Farewell then, and good luck. Right, let's see what happens. Ah, uh, yes. Shh. Come. I was just gonna fade to black. Hmm. Yes. It's so nice to have you all to myself for a change. Right. What did you want to talk about? 
I admit, I wasn't being completely forthright. It isn't talk I'm interested in. I want you in my bed. No. <laughs> uh, why now? Things in Darren Gold have calmed down somewhat. We'll soon be facing the greatest threat to Yerngol in centuries. This may be our only chance. Are you sure about this? I'm not the indecisive type, Donald. I've been watching you closely since first we met. I like what I've seen. I want a little taste. Is this going to lead to some kind of romantic entanglement? Not at all. I'm offering you a one-time opportunity. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. <laughs> yes. Um, yes, let's do that. Right away. Then move. I want to see you on your back. To start. Now it fades to black. Oh. <laughs> now I can buy a happy woman. Thank you, darling. I'm going to be thinking about this for a long time. What do you wish? At once. Uh, let's go see if our companions are still downstairs. Why am I slowed? I wasn't slowed before, was I? once well shoot all right before we proceed at the main quest let's go grab our companions again just in case so we don't know At if we'll once. be whisked off immediately to what rothgore's realm oh we can't be we have to go to the fortress first and enter the black geyser well still don't want to risk it Also, we need to try to speak to Biala since we completed her quest in the temple. At once. Once. Yes. I'm listening. I await. Off I go. Yes. I'm listening. I'm listening. There. All right, Hamlet should be in Greybark At Square. Once. I believe the Can tavern's called you? Stumbling Step. All right, I also wanted to compare this to Soraka's current equipment. Yes. Greetings. I off I go. Yeah, I'm not getting nearly as much done as I wanted to this episode. A lot of running back and forth.
at once. I await your instructions. Alright, but that should be the last of it. You talk to Isla one more time and progress the main quest. At once. I believe we've cleared our quest log of all of our side quests. I'm going to double check that, but I think we just have the main quest. I await your instructions. All right, I guess she just stays upstairs after that. At once. Hmm, what was that? All right, already read that. Uh, I did. It is ending, isn't it? There is so little time left now. There is too little time left for you to spend it with me. And you know I don't say that lightly. I have a letter for you, my dear, from someone who thinks of himself as terribly important. Hmm. I wonder what this is all about. Oh, no doubt the most important thing you will ever read. But wait a moment. Oh, the pendulum. I ask you to Castle Alastor to deal with the new portal. Yes. How did you know? I've known about the Black Geyser for some time. I'll let a very educated guess. Let me be frank. There's something you should know about the Curse of Greed. There is no such curse at all. <laughs> Sorry, but what? I've seen the results of the curse with my own eyes. What you've seen isn't what you think. I've spoken to a number of long-practicing shamans who discovered the most peculiar thing. On each person infected by the curse are a crowd of spirits. Spirits of the dead. What's more, they appear to be whispering. Whispering what? But it appears that they are whispering a sort of influence into each ear. This influence causes all the effects of what we've understood so far as a curse. What's more, the spirits seem to be coming from a particular place, Castle Alastor to in the east. That castle has no great history of violence. It's not enough to account for so many damned souls. I can conclude but one thing. A bridge exists between this place and Rothgor's realm. And something is turning the damned of his twisted plane into vessels of greed. Couriers of darkness. She said the thing. I suppose that explains a lot. It's the only reasonable conclusion. So I must ask you. When you go to Castle Alastor, please... Do what you can to end this madness. This horror has lasted too long. Seal the breach if you can. Mortal kind has suffered too long. Now go. There is no time left. I wish you fair winds. 
I off I go. All right, so we got an invitation from King Valiant Rick. To my loyal and obedient servant, the Lord Espen. Be it known that I, King Valiant Rick, your Legion Master, have arranged a peace summit to be undertaken between Isselbright and the repentant rebel city of Darren Gould. I very much desire your presence at the his this historic event. Firstly, it is in no small part thanks to your bravery and perspicacity, Lord Espen, that this violent and chaotic chapter in our history may soon be put to rest. And secondly, we should have your clear head and sound advice close at hand for this occasion. You're very grateful and eternal ruler, Valiant Rick. I'm listening. How'd she get that letter? At once. I assume that the messenger that was delivering it was intercepted by her. She took it at once without consent. By the way, we'll go back here and deal with this. See if we can't see peace in our time. At once. Well, I assume it's here. I didn't actually... Yeah, okay. It is an Isselbright. At once. Ah, Espin, you are most welcome in Isil Bright, most welcome. Please allow me to express my appreciation for all you've done to end this war. I did my part, Your Majesty. It was little enough. Oh, but I disagree. The counsel you offered the crown could not have come at a more critical time. Dark thoughts had enveloped me and threatened my judgment. But your wisdom helped clear my mind and see the way to a peaceful resolution of this conflict. The negotiations with Darren Gold are to begin shortly. Are you ready, Lord Espen? What points remain to be settled? The former rebels have suggested a new form of government, a notion which I have graciously agreed to entertain. Additionally, They've tabled issues of money and the reconstruction of Darren Gould. This all depends on the conflict being decisively finished, of course. Now, why is the contingent from the Eastern Empires here? They are present as neutral observers. Since the Rillo have long lived as honored guests in the east of the kingdom, I thought it a politic to allow them to place at the proceedings. What does the Crown hope to gain from this summit? If a war must be fought, the resolution should be swift and decisive. Has that been the case in the fight with Darren Gould? The conflict has dragged on, and the people have suffered unnecessarily. The Crown desires Ismarel to be peacefully united in strength and prosperity once more. I am willing to make some concessions in order to achieve this noble goal. Well, I have some say in the negotiations, Your Majesty. Most definitely. Your intervention was in large part responsible for bringing this war to a close. You must feel free to weigh in on all the topics at hand. What outcome is the Crown hoping to achieve regarding the new form of government, monetary policy, and the rebuilding of Darren Gould? I'm willing to concede a portion of the Crown's authority to a council of nobles. I have not, however, forgotten those who launched the insurrection against the Crown. 
They shall have no special privileges on this new council. The many lords and ladies who remain loyal to me over these past months are much more deserving to assist in the kingdom's rule. As for the city itself, naturally Darren Gould must be rebuilt. There's an argument to be made for letting the destruction stand as an object lesson. Esmeralda relies too heavily on their ore to take that route. But since the rebels are responsible for Darren Gould's fall, this they must see to her repair. They're certainly wealthy enough. Alright, I need more time to prepare, Your Majesty. And prepare, but do not tarry. We'll begin shortly. I await your instructions. Alright, I'm gonna call the episode here, and the next one we'll deal with this peace summit. I assume we can side more with Darren Gould if we want to, or with Isselbright. They're gonna give us some uh some leeway to choose the ending that we want. By the way, for now, I'm gonna call it here. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode.